Hello again, it's Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida. An expressionist art studio gallery in the backyard. And this is my yesterday's now dry painting, which was supposed to be something other than it turned out to be. This was supposed to be the sky, and I don't know what that was. Maybe an ice skating pond, I don't know. But uh, it turned out that this is the Northern Lights through an ice cave which begs the question, what am I going to do with this? Because I really want to do something with that. And the something that I'm going to do is probably just add a bunch of colors and grab an edge catcher, which I do have right here from an earlier project. And I think if I just put some white paint on and grab a few other little things, like some, that would be the uh, Prussian blue. I may have to open, whoop, I may have to op whoop, open a few things. Okay, fine, be that way. And I like this color, and this is probably not open either. <laughs> That's what happens when I go in the house to um, download a video, is my paint bottle seize up on me. And then I can come back well, I only really need dots anyway, so there. <laughs> I'm going to grab some of this wonderful iridescent pink, and what else? I need some blue. Whoops, that's some Floetrol. That is some blue. Yeah, you see I'm not really panicked about that, because I know it'll mix in. I've got... Ah... Uh, Some Anita's metallic, but my, out of my two bottles, I should have marked them, because, <laughs> duh. Because really, I have no idea which. i got to move some bottles out of the way so I can grab my edge catcher. Actually, I think I want to use one of yesterday's rather than ruin a brand new clean one. Take that off. It's not looking overly beautiful. I do want to put another one down here, actually, for when I lift that one up. If I, why don't I just start that way? Never mind. So I'm just going to pour all that paint right over, and then probably I will pour it back again. And no matter what I get, because the paint is still wet, it means I can add a basing brush into there, or a skewer, or whatever, and um, continue on my merry way, changing up the pattern. But mostly, adding some more wet paint. Snow is not that hard, as long as you don't mind having some shadows definition of something. Looks more like an iceberg floating down there right now, which is kind of cool, actually. I don't mind that. I'm just going to keep turning this. I'm going to match up the wet paint on the edge. I might pour that right off and pour it back in on the other side. I think I am going to do that, because I really like it. I don't know how much of that you can see, but it's got a cool, very neat shape to it. Probably won't stay, but I like it for right now. I see stuff in my paint, too. All right, so I'm going to wipe off that edge. I'm going to take my paint, dump it right back under the canvas, try and keep my flopping edge catcher from becoming a problem. Stick my finger under there. Remove edge catcher cautiously. I like it better. I really do. With some, uh, with an added area. And I could probably add some more white in there, but I'm not sure that I need to. I just keep rocking my little baby edge catcher. I'm going to flow that right down, and I'm going to flow it on. 
from the bottom. And then I think I'm going to grab some of this. Oh, I really do like that up there. Hmm. Well, I'm just going to use some of this right in here because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link under show more underneath the video, coincidentally. And I don't know if it looks any more realistic, but I don't think that was ever really the point anyway. And I should probably show you guys that. It looks like, yeah, I could cover that over. This side is covered. I'm just going to take my spatula paint and fill in my edges. Well, make another little something. I think that can go, even though I kind of liked it. I don't know what it would, what it was imagining itself to be. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just take a little skewer. Make some minor adjustments. <laughs> she said, going, those are not minor. <laughs> anyway, so that's, um, that's right now. I kind of want something else in the middle. Isn't that selfish of me? I guess I'm just selfish. <laughs> oh, come out. All right, more. Any. How about any? <laughs> oh. Okay, we'll just grab a different color. I know that'll come out because it's got a a much bigger tip cut open on it. I never did use my shovel, but it's still in my way. Fortunately, being a dry canvas, it means that I can most generally find a good spot to hang on to. And agitated paint will sell, as you can see. And I like I like what I've just done more than I can tell you. Yep, doesn't bother me a bit. Wow, I'm uh, I'm super psyched actually. I'm gonna grab the rest of this paint right there. Let it be agitated. Makes me want to put some on the other side. <laughs> oh, I'm bad. Okay, well, never mind. What can I get out of the bottle? <laughs> oh, I want some of that color. Okay. Can't have what you can't have. Let's see if skewering will do pretty much the same thing, and I think it will. Beautiful cells. Just beautiful. Very happy I did that. All right, that's so much more interesting for me right now than it was. I kind of want to put um, a little bit of shadow up here, and I don't know if I can get away with this, but I'm going to try it. It was really nice colors, patterns, but I kind of want to stain it darker. I'm just a lot nervous about either the texture of my fingers being in there or the texture of the spatula or the texture of the canvas showing up but I really want that purple in there and I'm not sure how to get it any other way so I guess I'm just going to have a painting with some fingerprints in it. And I'm going to leave that right up over the top so it's cohesive. Alrighty, cool! I actually did that and have time to spare and I'm not unhappy with what I got except for right there which is fine my edges are covered my part two is done I thought I was gonna I can't add any trees in there it's just too weird okay I've done something with my torch it's behind me and I'm gonna give the torch torching a shot I don't need it at the top because there can't be any bubbles 
There's no silicone in my mix and the cells are gorgeous at the bottom just from tilting the paint and letting it be agitated. My paint pouring recipe is under the video. I do sell my artwork. I give classes at the house in Spring Hill. I have five Facebook pages. Expressionist Art Studio Totes and More is a place you can find my Fine Art America on Pixels.com uh, posts since 2013 to shop there. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for fans, for, for students. Expressionist Art Studio for fans and collectors is for fans and collectors. You can find my really cool collection of stuff on my Amazon link underneath show more under the video. Um, that would be the OXO omelette turning spatulas and the Princeton art tool catalyst spatulas. There's like seven of those. Best paint spreading tools around and best craft tools basically. Just really love those. Not sure what this is. Pretty sure it's a snow scene though. And uh, I know I love you guys. There's 85,000 of you. Can you please, please, please give me a thumbs up? I would really so appreciate that. And if you binge watch my videos and you want to binge watch my videos, you might want to go to my channel, find my face, click on it when the little hand shows you that it's a cursor and uh, find created playlists, open created playlists, and uh, you'll find eight lists of 100 and one list that's being populated to 900 and genres. If you want to be of assistance to me further than shopping the Teespring clothing underneath the video, um, which is a really helpful thing. I have all over print t-shirts and fantastic leggings. I hope I didn't screw that up by doing that. Um, you can donate $10 to keep the studio rolling and uh, thank you to everybody who has donated to keep the studio rolling in the past. Thank you very much and thank you for the great comments too. Anyway, so PayPal and a Patreon are both under the video and on my channel header and on the end screens on every video there is an exhibition video and it will show you whatever this month's Yes, I see it. Um, what this month's prizes are for that drawing that will happen in the middle of December. Upcoming, um, at least for me. That right there looks like I stuck my finger in it. But everything else is pretty good. So I'm really pleased with that, and I'm really pleased with you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Check the community board on my channel for tomorrow's videos um, late at night or my Facebook page, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation. Um, they post at 6.30 in the morning, so maybe we'll see you tomorrow. I post every day as best I can. I love you guys. See you soon. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying thank you for joining me. Hope to see you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.